like to no. make the tape up? No. Okay, so here we go. So yesterday, I'm at. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yesterday, Kyle lends me his car all day long, even though we don't have insurance on me to drive, which we probably should do because Kyle freaks out. But I'm not driving his car and I'm sure it's in the rain. So. Anyway. Well, it's great. To my, to, to my defense, it's only when it rains. It's true. He does, yeah. And that's understandable, right? So anyway, so it's resale time, okay? I've now discovered I do resell, you know, I don't know, those of you who know me, but I go through my closet every six months, and I get rid of things, and I resell them if I haven't worn them, so on and so forth. But now I actually do it several times a year because you do it at the beginning of the season and the end of the season for your lighter things. So I very, it took me three days while I was in a heavy duty migraine and nauseous and sick until Johnny came and saved me with his magical migraine pills. Um, <laughs> I was going through my wardrobe <laughs> and all my 18 gallon tubs and the wardrobe that I have and then I pulled out, it was 90 items when I was up to go ahead and take to resale and I go to several different places and it's only so so the first place I like to go to is this place called Act Two, and Act Two is a boutique in La Mesa, and they ha and they sell things that are really fun, kind of like this BB jacket that I'm wearing now. So what I do is I get there about mm, 20 minutes before my appointment, and I take my things in the, in, in the back, and I look around to kind of taste the stuff, right? And it's a Friday, so imagine this: every woman who doesn't work, who spends her husband's paycheck is there at 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. buying stuff. More designer bags and more stuff that she doesn't need, but she, Okay, that's none of my business. Anyway, so they're all there. And imagine that this space is about, like, okay, from that wall to maybe that table where everybody, where everybody's sitting right there about right there. That's about how big the boutique is. And then, of course, you have lined up on each side and rounders, and there are women everywhere, right, looking through the rounders and everything. And in the back area, like back over there, is where all the resale is. So my stuff's back there, and they're going through it. And I'm looking around to see if there's going to be anything I'm going to trade for or, or whatever. And I'm looking for maybe something special I might want for my birthday. So as we're all looking, one of the, and they're bringing out things that they had just sold that morning from the back, tag. tag on one of these things. That they just bought. Yeah, th yeah, there it is. There, here's the tag. So it comes out, and as it comes out from the back, everybody sees it. Of course, they see it. Look at this white thing. It like starts to come through, and women are just like this. <laughs> and it's the kind of jacket that if you didn't wear it when you were young, you wish that you would have. But really, at a certain point, you probably shouldn't be wearing that jacket anymore. It's a little, it's whatever, it's a little creepy. I get that time. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm standing back here in this area, and I see it come out. So I immediately start to follow behind the woman who has it, because I know that's right. it. That's the way you do it. Yeah, and I'm right behind her. But she's heading for where the jackets are, which are over here, to hang it up. Where there's a lady standing right here watching it come towards her, and I'm behind her, and I say to her, I'm sorry, excuse me, miss, I want that jacket. About that loud, can you all hear me when I yeah. said that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, everybody else heard it too. But everybody was looking at the jacket with lust in their eyes. We all wanted the jacket. So, she gets there, she, you know, she's in motion. You ever been in motion where you're actually getting there, so you haven't stopped to recognize the person behind you, perhaps, but you're in motion. So she turns to look at me, but she's already starting to put the jacket on the rack, and the lady who's standing here puts her hand on my jacket. <laughs> on your jacket. So, <laughs> is this a cat uh, fight, like at Loman? That may be either for. So, this is my first ever boutique fight, by the way. Okay? And not your last. <coughs> well, I don't know, but I've never gotten a boutique fight before, but I was having this jacket. Uh, so, uh, I was behind her, and so my hand, as I see her put her proprietary hand on my white jacket, get it dirty, <laughs> I came up from this side and put one hand and put my hand on the other side of the shoulder on the jacket. This is on the rack. She's got her hand on this side and my hand on this side. And we're looking at each other, and the lady looked at me like the worst thing you could say to me. 
You know what, sweetheart? You can't afford this jacket. Um, <laughs> what? And I said Who to said her, the, the lady. Woman? Not the, not the no, person no, no, she's gone. Oh, okay. she's, oh. she's out of there. She's, not getting, yeah. she's, she's already headed towards the cash register, <laughs> which is about where Eric is sitting. <laughs> you, know, no, you can't afford this jacket. And I look at her and I go, you know what? You're too old to be wearing this uh. <laughs> yes, it was. We're going to go wait, you can't wait. afford it. Keep going, though. Keep old. telling what else you said. Okay, so, okay, but it happened right now. It says loud enough that everyone who is staring at the jacket is staring at us. Yeah. <laughs> right? You are in the show. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like a cat <clears throat> fight. People are like, whoa. You know, like, I didn't know there was a matinee yeah. here today. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. So, anyway, so I, I said, you know what? I said, tomorrow is my birthday. And I want this jacket. gloves to go with your jacket. Yeah, I know. Where did you get the gloves? I didn't see those yesterday. <laughs> I've had So anyway, um, they've been waiting for the right occasion. So, <laughs> they were a birthday gift to myself a long time ago. <laughs> my birthday is past. Um, so um, anyway, so I put the jacket behind the counter and, okay, this is the finishing of it, because I'm waiting to see from the consignment in the back how much I'll have to refer to it. The jacket was actually only $80. I ended up having $50 worth of consignment, so I spent $30 on my birthday. I could afford it, and I didn't have to flat back it in order to get it, so I'm just saying. She didn't know what she was talking about. She didn't know what she was talking about. The wrong thing, so I had to tell. As a shop owner, I would have put it up for more. I know, I would have too. I know, right? I know. That's because it's not real fur. But it it doesn't matter. Let's call it out of the bus. Whatever. I think so. Yeah, I know. I think it's actually a hot. Looks like my brown fur coat. I like the one that you left on. It's real leather. It's real leather. Yeah, but you're right. It's not fur underneath. It's so real leather, though. But it's not, of course, not real fur. Well, happy birthday. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I got birthday. one last part. So, <laughs> of course, I could not let it go because I'm all, like, wound up. 
And I'm like looking at other stuff and I'm just waiting to find out what my consignment goods are and whatnot.